Hi, I'm Annette from Boxcar Marketing with your one minute marketing tip. And today's tip is about how we create an input box where users can enter a value and then it displays in a, a dashboard that shows the impact of, of that change on the actual data. So it's a way to create some predictions about what can happen. We start by creating a parameter in our data. So in your data set, you have add parameter. I've already added two daily transaction targets and daily subscription targets. But if you click add a parameter, you get a little pop-up box. You give it a name. You're asked if you want uh, whole numbers or if people can enter you know, decimals. And then you set up some um, input uh, defaults. So can the user enter any value? Do you want to provide a list of acceptable values they can select from, from or will you provide a range? Uh, you can set up a, a default value. Once that parameter is available in your data set, then you just go um, add control, input box, and um, that will appear. I'll just do that quickly here. So it appears, and then instead of date, you just want to drag and drop whatever your control field is, right? So it appears there, and then your user can enter, enter a date. So that's exactly the steps I follow to create daily transaction target. And then what we have here are just some little calculations. So this is looking at the number of days between the date range that is set up for this report. Total transaction target is looking at uh, number of days times the daily transaction target to give us that value. And then this is just a scorecard showing the actual numbers. And then we've got the over under, which again is another little uh, calculation that's saying, well, what's the difference between these two values? I see that there was an invalid formula there. I'll have to go back and fix that. Um, the other way that you can use this information is in any of your graphs. So under the setup, you can um, ask to show a reference line. And then again, you just drag and dra drop that parameter um, into the field and it's going to display the line for you. So it's another way to visualize what's happening um, in, in terms of actual numbers versus your targets. This is a fantastic tip that I learned from Siavash at Looker Studio Masterclass. So full applause and thanks to him. Um, for demonstrating this. And I just think it's a fantastic way to uh, improve your marketing by being able to understand well, what kinds of things are in our control and what effect does that have on the overall numbers. I'm Nick from Boxer Marketing and that's your tip for today. Thanks, bye.